Coach Robbins, down 5-1 yesterday. You get here today down 4-1. I'm starting to think this thing's scripted. Your thoughts on the game tonight? Uh, it's definitely not scripted, but uh, you know, the way we go about compete, that's scripted. Uh, these guys love, love this game. They trust in themselves. They're phenomenal teammates. You know, we got down, we got punched in the face, but we got back up, responded well with the seven spot, and kind of took uh, the energy back into our dugout, and it was, it was a pleasure to watch. Talk to me about that seven-run rally. You had two seniors really standing out. Um, of course, Sells was good all, all game, but talk to me about Shirley with his big hit there with two outs, bases loaded. Yeah, he's a, he's a clutch player. He, he's been that way all year. Uh, you know, he's had a, a different tournament. He hasn't been smacking the ball around, but uh, he knows when to rise to the moment, rise to the occasion, and he did it. And then you got your, your other senior on the mound who maybe didn't have his best stuff out there today, but he was ended up pitching a complete game. How about that? It was phenomenal. Man. He wanted this one. He knew what this one meant. His last opportunity to pitch on this mound at, at Harris Field, he wanted to go out the right way, and he, he sure did that. Set yourself up for a championship game against Cumberland. You guys have already played them twice in the tournament. You're one and one against each other. Your thoughts on this game coming up here? Phenomenal championship game. The, the right two teams are in it. Uh, Coach Hunt, what he does with Cumberland, phenomenal. He's a legend. You know, it's a. Uh, Proud to face him. Uh, it's going to be the toughest team and the one that holds their mentality solid for nine innings. Who can pitch it, who can defend it, and get the clutch hit. We'll see where we're at. Thanks, Coach, and congrats. Mike Nowhere, congratulations on a, on a great game. I was just talking to Coach, and maybe tonight you didn't have your best stuff, but you ended up going the complete game anyways and getting us a W. Talk to me about your game. Um, it started from the beginning, just kind of strikes on and trying to get out. So our defenders included a couple balls here and there, and I mean, late in the game, they ended up coming through for me. Your team did it, the team did it last night as well, being down, coming back. You kind of thinking of last night, thinking, hey, if I, if I keep these guys close enough, my team's going to back me up here. Oh, well, I believe that 100%. Uh, four runs is nothing for these guys. They're, 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 here, they're here to stay, 17. How are you liking your chances tomorrow? Uh, Today it was a great chance to start. Bats are starting to heat up. Uh, we have a full bullpen. Our starter tomorrow is going to be Annals. Uh, it's going to be exciting to watch. How's this feel? It's probably no doubt being your last time on that mound here after a great career at LC. Talk to me some about your time at LC and what it's meant to you. I mean, we've got to talk about our fans and showing our support. And it's just a great environment. Uh, anywhere you go, on and off the field, it's, it's a lot of support. And the deck you up anything you do. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. And manager, Ryan Sells, congrats on the win for the team. Great game for you. Come through with uh, three RBIs. Lead off of the home run early, but talk to me uh, also about that seven run uh, inning there. Oh, it was big for us, you know. We always believe in ourselves, you know. I believe in my guys, they believe in me. And, uh, you know, just like last night, uh, we just knew we were going to win. We never had any doubt. So. You bring it back to that first, the first inning. You see a pitch, you set the tone right for the game. Uh, a long home run to left. What kind of pitch was that? That was a fastball, actually, down the middle. You know, coach told me, he's like, hey, you need to slow everything down. Uh, you need to be ready. You know, just slow everything down with your approach. And, you know, and that's exactly what I did and drove it out of the park. It sort of set a tone for yourself. You seem to be swinging well the rest of the game after that. Yeah, I felt good. I felt good today. You know, I was ready for this game. You know, since last year, we we'll put a sour taste in our mouth. We're ready to get the 17. How you feeling going into the title game against Cumberland? I feel good. I feel good against Cumberland. You know, um, we might see the same lefty that we faced the first game, but we're ready for it. You think you're going to figure this guy out this time? I think so. I think so. We're, uh, <laughs> we're hungry. We're very hungry. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Jake Shirley, Robbins a lot of times calls you the captain of this team. This tournament, maybe you haven't swung as well as you'd like, but tonight you come through with the big hit, bases loaded, two outs. Tell me about that at bat. I was just going about uh, my back got up there trying to compete, not looking to do too much. You know, I would have been satisfied with an RBI single. It just so happened I got the battle of the ball deep enough to the park to get all three in. So, uh, you know, he didn't tell me to go up there try to hit a home run, a double, or anything. He wanted me to go up there and compete, and that's what I was trying to do. Talk to me about the mentality of this team. As two straight comebacks on back to back nights, when you're down by four runs or more, this team has never died. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'll go back to my quote last year. It's just about being resilient. You know, uh, I knew 
it's a matter of time before we got to that pitcher and uh, got to their bullpen. And that's all it takes for us is just chipping away, staying with our approach, and staying together as a team. That's been huge for us all season long. I've asked all the guys the same question about going into tomorrow, facing a team you've played twice. You guys are one and one against them. How do you like your chances? I love them. You know, uh, they get to sit at home, think about their loss last night. Um, it was a good game last night, but we uh, definitely kicked the ball around, so they get to think about how they lost about. Uh, you know, on four errors and still lost the game. So I think we're going to come back out tomorrow night a little ticked off and take it to them. You guys feel you got a little bit of momentum behind you at this point, right? Oh, absolutely. We got momentum. Everyone's swinging a hot bat and got the crowd behind us. You know, the fans are, it makes a huge difference for us. Well, just tell me some of that real quickly. What about your time here at LC? Oh, it's been phenomenal, you know. Not only have I grown as a player, but I've grown as a man, and uh, that's the most key part, you know, is being a warrior. You grow as a man, and, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to finish with any other team or any other program. Thanks. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.